Hello guys, uh, tonight's screencast then is on centre of mass. Okay, and what we're going to look at is it's a biomechanics uh, lesson and we're looking at this concept of a centre of mass and how um, changes in the position of a centre of mass can affect stability and in particular uh, performance in sporting techniques. So first thing to understand what centre of mass is, so just have a look on here, centre of mass is a kind of an imaginary point where a body is balanced in all directions. You can see that there, the body it's in the kind of roughly the centre area and it means the body is balanced in all directions. Now what's important to understand understand here that when you talk about a body it's an imaginary point in the body uh, sorry an imaginary point where the body is balanced in all directions it doesn't always talk about like the human body a body can be an object so for example a football a tennis ball okay so and anything whenever you talk about body it can be talked about as a human body, but it doesn't always mean a human body. It could be talked about as objects as well. So what I want to do is just then kind of go through from there and say right your next thing is explain how change in the position of centre of mass affects stability. So if we start off, centre of mass, your key definition, as I said earlier, is an imaginary point at which the body is balanced in all directions. Now, the certain things will uh, affect your centre of mass. The first one is the height of the centre of mass. If your centre of mass is high, so, well, if we start off, we'll do the lower actually. So, if, if you have a lower centre of mass, you're more stable. So, you might see a rugby player gets lower or lowers their centre of mass before a tackle. When they go to scrum, uh, scrummage, they might lower their centre of mass so they are more stable and more effective in their performance. Sometimes people want to get a higher centre of mass. So, for example, you could look at here, and that makes them less stable. So sometimes less stable is good. So, for example, if you imagine a high jumper, their aim is to get their body as high, a centre of mass as high as possible, so they can lose stability and for the Frosby flop um, kind of shape, allow them to go over the top of the high jump bar. So the first variable or the first, first change we have to talk about is we're talking about if the centre of mass is high, the, uh, the stability is lower. So, for example, if you stand up, someone pushes you over. It's a lot. It's, it's, it's easy to go over, isn't it? It's, it's hard to stand up. However, if your centre of mass is lowered, if you, someone tries to push you over and you get yourself low, it's a lot more difficult for them to push you over. So, that's your first thing. The first variable which dictates how the change in, in the position of centre of mass can affect stability is the height of centre of mass. The second variable is the base of support. Now, the base of support is talking about your kind of the lower uh, limbs of your body. So, the base of your body... If you have a wide base of support, for example, um, you put your legs wide when you're about to go into contact in rugby, okay, or for example, um, you have, you look at your, um, uh, put into here. So if you have a wider base of support when you're doing a, a headstand, for example, you have your head and your two um, arms to kind of go down and make that triangle shape. That makes you more stable than, say, for example, uh, a narrow base of support, like when doing something like a, a handstand, because you only have two points of contact, and that makes the base of support narrower, okay, which, because with we, your hands at this point, because obviously you're turning your body upside down. So a narrow base of support leads to decreased stability of the centre of mass, okay? So that would make sense, I hope. It's easy to push someone over, or easier to lose your balance on a handstand than it is on a headstand because of that wider area of support. Going on then, the last one, line of gravity. The line of gravity is the third key variable which will look at the will dictate um, your centre of mass and your stability. So if you look at your line of gravity, if the line of gravity, basically line of gravity is an imaginary line that travels down from your centre of mass straight down to the floor. So what, you, so what it's saying then, if the line of gravity is within the base of support, e.g. someone is standing up, if I go back to here, if you look at this bit here, if the line of gravity travels from the centre of mass directly through the uh, base of support, you're more likely to be stable. However, if this person tilted over way forward that way, and the centre of mass would be there, it would not go in through the base of support, which means they're less stable. So if I go back to this bit here then, line of gravity, if it travels from the centre of mass, directly down to the base of support, you are more stable, okay? Um, you've got like there, a headstand, the centre of mass, a base of support are in a straight line. However, if the line of gravity passes outside the base of support, this creates an unstable position. So you often see a rugby player leaning when they're doing a sidestep. They will lean in one direction, which will mean that the body moves, uh, the centre of the line of gravity moves outside from the centre of mass outside the base of support. This is used to get people off balance so they can then sidestep and go the other way. Okay, so that's kind of how I'd want you to use your examples for this. I'll give you some other things tomorrow in the lesson. But ultimately, the exam question would be, define the centre of mass. 
imaginary point which your body is balanced in all directions, and then explain how changes in the position of the centre of mass can affect stability and sporting performance. So, height of centre of mass, point one, basis of point po sport, point two, and finally your line of gravity, point three. Those three variables with various dictations will allow you to kind of understand how um, stability can either be maintained or lost. Okay, thank you.